There were lots of witnesses that day when Jesus was crucified. In fact, there were lots of witnesses to most of most everything that Jesus did. After all, the scripture says this these things were not done in a corner. Mm -hmm. It was not the Lord's intention to do things undercover, uh, behind doors. There were witnesses. There were witnesses when he worked miracles. There were witnesses when he taught. There were witnesses mm -hmm. when there were viewers. These things were seen. The Lord did these things to be seen. There were lots of witnesses. There were lots of different kinds of witnesses. When Jesus, there were lots of people that passed by that way, where where uh, Jesus was crucified. It was like a main main thoroughfare. There were lots of people that had that had seen him die, but not everyone saw the same thing. Of all of the different witnesses, there were lots diff there were a lot of different points of view. There were a lot of different interpretations. There were a lot of different. Uh, conclusions made to what they saw that day as it was uh, throughout his ministry. People heard Jesus teach uh, mm -hmm. this parable or that parable and, and there were different conclusions made. Uh -huh. There were different um, different points of view were, were heard and different things were taken away from the things that Jesus taught. And so this was no new thing that people came to different conclusions when Jesus died. Mm -hmm. One point of view was a Gentile point of view. When the Gentile saw Jesus die or heard of Jesus die, well, the Gentiles' view it was formed. Um, it was their view wasn't formed by God because they had no covenant with God. Mm -hmm. The Gentile view uh, was not formed by prophets. The Lord didn't send them any prophets. The Gentile see they had no promised land like Israel did. The Gentile had no tabernacle. There were there was not two different tabernacles. There was no Gentile atone, day of atonement. <laughs> like Israel had. In fact, the Scripture says that the Gentiles were not a people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the Gentile view of Jesus was not the right view. Mm -hmm. the, Gentile, the Holy Spirit even called the Gentiles, He characterized them as those that know not God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even as the Gentiles which know not God. They are those whom the Bible refers to as them that are without. They're farther away. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed in. They're called strangers. Yeah. They're called foreigners. The Holy Spirit calls them the nations. Mm -hmm. He just lumps all of them together. The Gentile yeah. view is they're, they're the nations. They're without. They were, in fact, not even allowed in the temple. In Ephesus, there was an uproar of the Jews because they thought that, Jew, that Paul had brought in a Greek, mm -hmm. Trophimus, into this holy place yeah. and defiled it mm -hmm. because the Gentile was not allowed yeah. In the, this place that was ordained to God, that was sanctified by God, that was given to them by God. And so, see, this Gentile view is a view from without. Mm -hmm. They're strangers. Yeah. They were foreigners. Jesus was not the first Jew that the Gentiles had ever seen crucified. This was not an amazing thing when the Gentiles saw a Jew being crucified. He wasn't the first one. In fact, he wouldn't be the last one. So this was not a unique sight that the Gentiles saw another Jewish crucifixion. They, some <clears throat> Gentiles must have thought he was a false teacher if his own people killed him. Mm -hmm. He must have been teaching heresy. He must have been worthy of this death by what he said. That's the Gentile view, a possible Gentile view. Other Gentiles must have wondered at what warranted his death if some Gentiles, and surely they did, knew that he had worked miracles and that many people had followed him and he'd done good everywhere he went. He did good. <coughs> Those Gentiles must have wondered what, what must have turned so bad mm -hmm. that he was killed. Mm -hmm. That was a Gentile view. But then there's also a Jewish view. Mm -hmm. The Jewish people were taught in the Holy Scriptures. So the Jewish view of the crucifixion had to be different than the Gentile view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They saw The things that they saw should have reminded them of things they learned in the Scriptures. Because the Scriptures was their upbringing. The Scriptures was the base and the center and the nucleus of their education. So the things that they saw when Jesus took the role of Isaiah there at the beginning of His ministry and He read the text that actually spoke of Himself. The Lord hath anointed Me and I have preached good tidings. And He, 
he said, he rolled up that scroll and he was done reading that text. He says, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. And in that synagogue, all the eyes were fastened on him. See, that's what produced, that's what should have produced a different Jewish view yeah. of Jesus. <clears throat> when, the Jewish, when the Jewish person viewed the crucifixion that day, they should have thought of texts like, his visage was so marred more than any man. Amen. Because the scriptures were theirs. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the one the scriptures wrote of and the prophets prophesied of. The Jewish mind should have connected his words with the words of Isaiah. When Jesus said, I am from above, they should have thought of texts like Isaiah 9. His name shall be called the mighty God. Yeah. Amen. That's the right yeah. Jewish view. Amen. They, that's what they should have had. Not many did. The blind man did call him son of David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He connected things of the old scriptures with Jesus of Nazareth, and they called him the son of David. This had to, God pro made a promise to David about his son and his throne, and he would always be on his throne. And that blind man, he didn't see like everybody else saw, but maybe he saw more than what everybody else saw. He called him the son of David. That was, yeah. that was the Jewish view. Mm -hmm. Some people, the Jews, even said he was Elijah. Yeah. Remember there was promises about Elijah coming and restoring all things. And some Jews were convinced that he was Elijah. Some others said he was Jeremiah. Or others said he was he's one of the prophets. They didn't know for sure, but he was he was one of the prophets that had come back. See, there was a Jewish view that was starkly different than the Gentile view. Yeah. Because God had given them a view. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He had created their perspective Amen. with all the prophets and all the law and all the services and all the words that He had given that the Holy Spirit had moved holy men to write these words. John the Baptist had come before Jesus and had further uh, defined their view of who Jesus would be. He said, There's one among you mightier than me whose shoes latch it I'm not worthy to stoop down and to untie, and he would purge his floor, mm -hmm. thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into his garner. Mm -hmm. At this point, John himself didn't know who he was, mm -hmm. but he knew that he was coming. It hadn't been revealed to him yet by the, mm -hmm. the, the Holy yeah. Spirit descending on him at, in the form of a dove, but John knew he was out there somewhere yeah. and he was making the message known. Amen. But Amen. even with these views, after the miracle of the loaves, they thought they should take him by force and make him king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and their, view, their view was is more precise and more illuminated than the Gentile view, but it still wasn't it still wasn't the view that they should have had. Yeah. I wonder what the Jews ever concluded about the veil rending hmm. yeah. at the time that Jesus died. Yeah. Yeah. There had to have been discussion about this. This was the veil that separated the holy place from the the most holy place from the holy place. Uh -huh. This is the veil that kept the holy place secret, mm -hmm. kept it out of view. But now it was in full view because it had been rendered from the top to the bottom. Yeah. What did they ever conclude about this? What did they make what did they make known or did they make it known? Hmm. <laughs> their their view should have been determined by things like this. Yeah. I wonder if any of the Jews on that day when Jesus died, when the plague of darkness covered the land for three hours, I wonder if any of them thought about the plague of darkness in Egypt. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if any of the Jews, if, any, if their view was changed while Jesus was dying, He gave up the ghost and darkness covered the land at midday. Yeah. I wonder what their view was then. Well, very few of the Jews came to the right view, we know. There were some who were closer than the others, like uh, Cleopas and his friend on the road to Damascus, and, and they, they confessed uh, to Jesus after giving them this... Uh, sure, they didn't know it was Jesus, of course. He, was, he appeared to them in another form. And they, they gave him the, the, the short overview of what had happened in those days, thinking that he must have been a stranger to not know these things. Mm -hmm. And he says, but, but we had trusted that it, he would have been the one that should have redeemed Israel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Their view was that we we were we were convinced that he was the Messiah. He was the promised one spoken of in the law and the prophets and Moses, and been promised since the garden the seed mm -hmm. of the woman that would bruise the head of the serpent. We trusted that he was the one, but he obviously isn't. They concluded because now he's dead. Mm -hmm. That was a very real Jewish view mm -hmm. of the crucifixion and of Jesus. 
Well, there wasn't just one Jewish view. There was a, quite another Jewish view among the, the Jewish leaders. What is called commonly the, the, the rulers of the Jews, the lawyers, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the, the, uh, those who loved the upper seats in the synagogue mm -hmm. because they saw themselves differently than all the rest of the people. Because they, those who made long prayers and lengthened their phylactery, phylacteries, they gave alms to be seen of men and they loved to be called rabbi in the marketplace. Well, this, these, these Jews had quite another view of Jesus. They viewed Jesus as a threat. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Amen. They didn't at all entertain the possibility that he would be the one that would redeem Israel. In fact, they, Pilate even knew that they delivered him up because of envy. Mm -hmm. So here's another Jewish view. This is the view that, according to, to the affairs of men, that put Jesus on the cross. That's right. The common mm -hmm. Jewish people didn't crucify Jesus. The leaders of the Jews mm -hmm. crucified Jesus. He came unto his own, and his own received him not because of this view. Mm -hmm. They thought, here's one of their views, from their, own, from their own mouths. If he keeps teaching like this, and people keep believing like this, then the Romans are going to come and take away both our place and our nation. That was the view mm -hmm. uh -huh. of the religious Jews, the Jewish uh, leaders. So they sent officers to take him with specific instructions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they were armed men or if they were... Um, what, what, what type of delegate that they, that they were specifically, but they sent, they sent officers to take him and to, and to bring him. They, did, they made several attempts at this, remember. Mm -hmm. They tried to trap him in, their, in his words, and they got trapped by their own words. This time they sent officers to take him, and they, the officers came, of course, without him, mm -hmm. and their report, their view was, no man ever spake like this man. Yeah, amen. And the Jewish leaders says, have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? Because they viewed themselves as the benchmark mm -hmm. yeah. that all the other Jews should do as they do yeah. mm -hmm. because their view of Jesus was that he was a renegade. Mm. They're, they were used to owning the monopoly on all spiritual things. Yeah. They weren't favorable at all to that man that was born blind and was healed and that lectured them. It says, well, herein is an amazing thing. You don't know where Jesus came from, yet he healed, the, healed me who was born blind. That was like a reprimand. Well, they didn't, they didn't take kindly to this at all because they viewed themselves as the spiritual elite, as the, spirit, the, the spiritual uh, leaders who should have been unrivaled. But now this Jesus, people were, people were flocking to Jesus and saying things like this. Much to, they, they must have just shuddered when the Jews must have just shuddered when they heard things like, this man doesn't teach like the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Th this Jewish view of Jesus wondered, how did this man ever learn without going to school? Mm -hmm. Because they thought they owned the monopoly on all things spiritual, of all things law. Of, they said, we are Moses' disciples. They, in fact, judge that Jesus cannot be of God because he didn't keep the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. All because the man was carrying his mat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wouldn't you take up your mat Amen. if the man that healed you told you to take it up? Amen. Amen. The man took it up. He thought, why? It probably never occurred to the man. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't take this up because this, just because this man who healed me <laughs> told me to take up my mat. He says, the man who healed me told me to take up my yeah. mat and walk. And so I did, and I think everyone would have, but the Jews concluded he's not keeping the Sabbath day, and so he's not of God. That was their view mm -hmm. of Jesus. They also concluded that he could not be a prophet because no other prophet had arisen out of Galilee. Well, maybe they should. Did they make other conclusions about no other man had been born of a virgin? So what, what co conclusion did they make from that basis? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See, but their, their view was so narrow and so yeah. limited yeah. Uh -huh. that they couldn't see that this was the one that their scriptures promised. Mm -hmm. This is the one that their God sent to them because their view was so stunted and so stilted by their, their, their efforts to maintain their position or their imagined position among the Jewish people and even among the, the, the Roman government. In fact, they, they were so uh, stunted in their view 
of Jesus and of the law and of all things spiritual that they, they condemn the common people saying, this people who know not the law are cursed. Mm -hmm. That's what they concluded about people who were believing Jesus. But Jesus was actually the fulfillment of the law. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is, of course, the worst Jewish view of Jesus. And it might even be the worst view of all. Because this yeah. was the view that resulted mm -hmm. in the crucifixion of Jesus. This was a religious murder. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the crucifixion of Jesus was religiously motivated. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was not just personal hatred. Mm -hmm. This was uh -huh. not just um, like a, a political uh, vindictive. Mm -hmm. This was religious mm -hmm. because, they, because he said, before Abraham was, I am. And their knowledge of the scriptures should have made them think about what, what they, but they did understand the import of that claim. They did understand that he, by saying that, he was claiming that he was God. But they concluded instead, they concluded rather that he was worthy of death mm -hmm. instead of concluding that this was the Messiah. Amen. Mm -hmm. The fact that they couldn't get two witnesses to agree together against him should have made them change their view. The fact that Pilate called him this just man. Yeah. I don't think Pilate even realized the import yeah. of what he That's said. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. He couldn't find, just by his own investigation, any reason to kill him. But he said more than Pilate realized when he said, I find no cause, no reason of death in this man. This just man. It should have changed the Jewish view, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. After the resurrection, the keepers who saw the angel descend and were so afraid they became as dead men. And there was a great light and they, the stone rolled away. And they went and they reported what they saw. Mm -hmm. Should have changed the Jewish view. Yeah. But it didn't. They paid them large sums of money. Yeah. And came up with a little story to tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit says, and this story is still being circulated to this day about the resurrection of mm -hmm, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, there are more views than just the views of, of people in the earth. There's also a view from the devil's point of view. Mm -hmm. The devil knew that God had promised that the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent. Now, don't you think that the serpent was very keen observing who this seed might be because he was promised to bruise his head. He'd been working to prevent this birth of Jesus from the time that it had been promised. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He didn't know who the woman was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knew it had to come from Eve. He may have suspected that it would be a child of Eve. Uh -huh. He didn't know what generation it would be in, but now he knows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now he knew. That was his view. That's right. He had not been able to stop the birth of Moses. Maybe in that generation he thought that Moses, he was, uh, the Lord was talking about deliverance. Mm -hmm. Maybe he thought that Moses yeah. would be the seed that would bruise yeah. his head. Mm -hmm. And he did everything he could to stop his uh -huh. birth yeah. with a slaughter of uh, countless uh, male children. Mm -hmm. But the, the one was still born Amen. right Amen. under Amen. his nose. Yes. Amen. He had not been able to stop uh, the birth of this child either through another slaughter yeah. of children yeah. by moving Herod Amen. to hatred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was delivered the same as Moses was delivered Amen. in another generation. Mm -hmm. See, the devil had a view too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, after Jesus was born, after he had grown, mm -hmm. after he was a man, the devil tried to move several people to kill him and was unsuccessful. That's right. At one point they tried to take him and throw him off a, the brow of a hill yeah. and he just and he passed yeah. through their midst. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I think the devil had something to do with that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. amen. Mm -hmm. Here's the devil's view. I'm going to use my biggest temptations mm -hmm. against this man. Mm -hmm. The devil's wrath had reached its fullest point when Jesus showed up on earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The devil didn't offer anyone else all the glory of this world, did he? Amen. This was the devil's view. Jesus would have been his greatest prey if, if the devil could have taken down Jesus. Now, mm -hmm. the devil didn't care for Moses either, but he did end up getting to Moses a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
when Moses was angry and smote the rock instead of speaking to the rock. So, so the, the devil was able to, he was able to influence a little bit. He got, he, he got uh, some sort of hold, not like he did other men, but he did at least get to Moses. The devil had contended w with men before that were godly, like David. Mm -hmm. He was called a man after God's own heart. David didn't have act. The, the devil couldn't get to David like he did to other men, but Jesus was not just another David. That's right. And the devil knew it. Mm -hmm. The devil had contended with people who had this desire for another country. They looked for a country whose builder and maker is God. So the devil, he had, he had some experience with a desire for another world in mm -hmm. men. Mm -hmm. He had some experience with, with godly inclinations. Mm -hmm. He had some experience with righteousness being in men, yeah. but never to this extent yeah, like right. Jesus, yeah. Yeah. Amen. who himself was righteous. Now the devil is, he's dealing with the builder mm -hmm. in the earth. Yeah. All that came before Jesus were servants in the house, mm -hmm. and the devil knew it. But now <coughs> the devil knows that he's dealing with the heir of the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the devil's view. Mm -hmm. All that spake before this one were speaking of this one now that has come. Mm -hmm. The devil thought within himself, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and his inheritance mm -hmm. will be ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the devil had been cast out, he couldn't make war with God himself. So he had resorted with, to make war with those who belonged to him. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But now the son yeah. of, of the Almighty had come. The devil was fully aware of who Jesus was. He was fully aware that he could torment him at any time and in any place if he will. The devil thought that he had won when he killed Jesus. That was the devil's view. Mm -hmm. yeah. He thought that he had killed the Son of the Almighty. He thought he had thwarted the work of the one that he that had cast him out. But that's not the only view. Amen. That was the devil's view. There was also a view from heaven. Mm -hmm. The angels had a view about Jesus, about his time in earth. The, the angels certainly had a view about Jesus' uh, death and crucifixion. Mm -hmm. They had a view that was unlike anyone else's view. Yeah. Yes. Amen. They were very the angels have always been very attentive to the happenings on earth. When the Lord gave them a commission, they were able to execute it immediately. They were not unaware or oblivious or ignorant of the happenings on earth. And I think it's because they long to look into these things, as yes. Peter said. Amen. They're intrigued by the work that their God does. Yeah. They're intrigued by God Himself. Mm -hmm. They're very intrigued by promises like, I will dwell in them and walk among them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. The angels are very intrigued by this. They're created by God as well. In fact, in the Revelation, the angel told John that he was of his brethren. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord determined to do all these things Redemption, salvation, forgiveness of sin, the sacrifice of Jesus, the ascension of Jesus. He, he uh, determined to do all these things even before the world began. And I think that at least some, maybe not all, some of the angels knew about it yeah. mm -hmm. even before the world began. Yeah. Remember the scriptures say that the angels rejoiced when the Lord set the foundations of the earth. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe that's part of why, because they, the project is underway. Of all of this, all of these promises, all of this purpose that the Lord had purposed within Himself, uh -huh. they were seeing God do things that they had not seen before. Uh -huh. Yes, Amen. With mercy and yeah. wisdom and grace, yeah. and His image in in a creation like they hadn't seen before. There was no purpose or salvation to recover the angels. They'd seen uh, some of their race fall, but they had never seen a salvation for angels. That's right. Now some of some of their own, some of some angels had gone to earth and they had made conversation with men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but none of the angels had ever become a man. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Some of the angels had wrestled with men, mm -hmm. undoubtedly with some understanding of their frame, but none of the angels had ever wrestled with the nature of man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had seen. Angels had seen men grow tired and, and fall asleep. But the angels knew nothing of them of being tired themselves. Mm -hmm. This must have been must be somewhat of a marvel that these 
these creatures in Earth, they, they run out of strength and they, and they fall asleep and look like dead men. And then they come back and, and resume op normal operation. This must look strange to the angels, but now, they, now they've seen Jesus, who was the Word, experience the same. Just think about the view of the angels. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. An angel heard Abraham say to Isaac, God will provide himself a lamb. Mm -hmm. The angels heard that. Yeah. yeah, amen. Just imagine possibly the conversation that could have ensued among the angels when Abraham said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Abraham, he, he's, he's seeing it. He saw just a little bit that God's going to provide himself a lamb. The angels could have said so much more about it to Abraham. The angels would have heard Moses say, God will raise up a prophet of your brethren like unto me, and to him shall the people hearken. The angels heard him say that too. Maybe the angels were instrumental in teaching Abraham about God providing himself a lamb. And maybe the angel, maybe an angel is the one that revealed that to Moses. Because the angels had, they had a high view of the salvation as these things unfolded. The angels, they played critical roles in the unfolding of this whole purpose of God. They announced His birth. Amen. They announced His birth to the, to the uh, shepherds as they kept their flocks by night. They had announced His birth to Joseph when Joseph thought within himself to put her away privily, that there would not make a public display of her. Yeah. And an angel instructed Joseph more perfectly. Yeah. It was an angel that appeared to Mary and made these things known. Mm -hmm. And she didn't understand how can these things be. It wasn't unbelief. It was just she was without understanding. Mm -hmm. And the angel very uh, graciously mm -hmm. and very capably explained, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit will come upon you. It was an angel that made these things yes. known. Mm -hmm. And she yeah. kept all these things in her heart. Mm -hmm. An Amen. angel played critical roles in the coming of Jesus. And so I'm sure that every, every eye of every angel was looking when Jesus was on the cross. Mm -hmm. It was an angel that rolled away the stone and told the women and the disciples that he was not there, but that he was risen from the dead. Well, they, I, I like the view of the angels. But then there's also another view of the believers. And I have to, I have to say that there's, uh, there, there's some difficulty in saying this, those who believed God, those who knew what God had said about the coming of Jesus, they knew somehow, to some level, they knew that the time was at hand. Mm -hmm. They didn't know everything that was involved because it hadn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. But there were believers who knew that the time had come. Mm -hmm. They were filled with hope. Joseph of Arimathea, he was a man who waited for the kingdom of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was not your average Jew. Mm -hmm. He didn't yeah. have the Jewish view. Mm -hmm. He certainly didn't have the Gentile view. Mm -hmm. He had the believer's view. He was waiting for the kingdom of God. Amen. And he knew that Jesus was not just another teacher. Mm -hmm. Simon, I'm sorry, Simeon, the Holy Spirit says he was waiting for the consolation yeah. of Israel. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Simeon was... It, things were revealed to him that wasn't revealed to anyone else about Jesus. It was revealed to him that he wouldn't die till he saw the salvation of God. Not many details were given. But then when he, he took the baby and said, I've seen thy salvation, mm -hmm. he concluded because he was a believer. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, he knew yeah. what God had said. He believed what God had said. Mm -hmm. He probably couldn't go into the details about Jesus that Paul went into later when he wrote to the churches. But Simeon knew that Jesus was the Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So there's the believer's view as well. Uh -huh. Anna, the old old uh, woman in the temple, when she heard the things that Simeon said, she went and, pre and spoke all these things to them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So Anna also was a believer and recognized these things, but she also knew Mm -hmm. Who else to go tell? That's right. There were those in Jerusalem who knew, mm -hmm. who she he, she knew could receive these things, mm -hmm. and undoubtedly some of those number that Anna told when he was born were some of the same that followed him when he taught. Mm -hmm. So there's a believer's Amen. view as well. The believers were looking and waiting and hoping and watching because God had said something. 
God had spoken about a man. Mm -hmm. A man would be a culvert. Mm -hmm. There would be a man born of a woman. There, the seed of the woman would come. Because God had spoken, men were looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like Peter said, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. We can say that Joseph and Simeon and Anna, they were looking according to His promise. It wasn't just a, just a random, I think God's going to do something. They were looking because God had promised. Mm -hmm. All the promises of God had not been for naught. Amen. All the promises, all the prophets had not been forgotten mm -hmm. and lost. Martha confessed, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was not the average conclusion of all the Jewish people. But this was Martha's conclusion. Mm -hmm. Because she believed. Andrew told his brother, we have found the Messiah. Mm -hmm. He was one of few that, that made that conclusion, but mm -hmm. that was Andrew's view. Mm -hmm. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph, the son of Mary, is the Messiah mm -hmm. because he believed. This is why the Lord said so much about Jesus. Mm -hmm. From the Garden of Eden to the island of Patmos, mm -hmm. Jesus is the subject of heaven. Amen. And this is why, because those who believe it would recognize it. Yeah. Those who believe it would understand it. Amen. Those who believe it, God would show. God would show more. Well, the seventh and the ultimate view of Jesus, of course, is the view of the Father Himself. Mm -hmm. The only complete and perfect and eternal view belonged to God Himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. This was... See, Think, of, think about the differences. People walking by Jesus when He was crucified, some wagged their heads and went on their way. That was the extreme low view of Jesus. But then there was the view from heaven. When, G, when the Father looked and saw Jesus dying on the cross, that He saw His eternal purpose was being fulfilled. Yes. That was the Father's view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He saw that this was all His pleasure. God was doing all of His pleasure while Jesus was dying. Mm -hmm. God saw that His counsel was standing. The Jews thought that it was by their counsel that Jesus died. Mm -hmm. But they would have no power over Him at all, as Jesus told Amen. Pilate, unless God had given it to Him. Amen. Amen. And so Amen. it was all of God's counsel standing uh -huh. when Jesus was... He, they would have had... In fact, no man took His life from Him. Amen. Amen. It was God's counsel standing Amen. when Jesus died. When Jesus looked... When the Father looked on Jesus, He saw the fulfilling of all His will. Amen. He saw the, ple the good pleasure of the Lord was prospering yes. in His hand. Amen. It sure didn't look like this when a man was dying. Yeah. From the outside view, from mm -hmm. the Jewish view, it didn't look like the good pleasure of the Lord was prospering. Mm -hmm. Certainly from the devil's point of view, it, did, it looked like his pleasure was prospering. Yeah. But it was that right under his nose. It was yeah. God's yes. pleasure Amen. prospering. Amen. The Father's view is the ultimate view. So from yeah. the Father's view, the kingdom is forcefully advancing. A man, the Christ is dying. And through his death, the kingdom is forcefully advancing. Amen. In fact, Isaiah 53 says this about the Father's view. He was pleased to bruise him. Amen. He was, that was the Father's view. He was pleased. See, the, the real bruise that you see in Jesus, by his stripes we are healed, was not the stripes that bled. It was not the stripes that the Roman soldiers put on Jesus. It was God's stripes. Yeah. It was Amen. God's bruise. Mm -hmm. God was pleased to bruise him because... He made His soul an offering for sin. Mm -hmm. And when the Father saw the travail of His soul, the Father was satisfied. Mm -hmm. that, that's the view of God. See, now, now that we are reconciled to God, now that we have the Spirit of God dwelling in us, now that, now that we as children are being taught of God, now we have the same view as the Father. Mm -hmm. When the Father saw the Son, He was satisfied. Aren't you satisfied when Amen. you see the Son? Amen. Amen. When we see the travail of His soul, He was, he was uh, satisfied and He was pleased to bruise Him. We're pleased also that the Father bruised Him. Yeah. Not, for, not for the suffering's sake, but for the fruit's sake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the years of blood offerings that could never take away sin, now in the Father's view, there is blood that does take away sin. Mm -hmm. All the generations of high priests that were prevented from continuing by reason of death 
Now, in the Father's view, there is a high priest with the power of an endless life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the Father's view. So Abraham, God has provided himself a lamb. Yeah. David, this man will never be moved from your throne. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Daniel, there's dominion and glory have been given to this son of man, mm -hmm. even as you said. Mm -hmm. Malachi, your words have been fulfilled. There is healing in his wings. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has always been just in everything that he's done, in everything that he said. When he didn't, when he didn't work immediately, he was just. Mm -hmm. When he waited for generations yes, and generations mm -hmm. to vindicate, mm -hmm. he was just. Yeah. When he spoke, he was just. When he was silent, he was just. Mm -hmm. When he blessed, he was just. When he judged, he was just. God's always been just, but until now, he was not the justifier. Mm -hmm. But now that, that Christ has offered himself an atonement for sin, now God is the justifier. Mm -hmm. God had forgiven sin before. Mm -hmm. He had spoken those very words, your sins have been forgiven. I've taken away mm -hmm. uh, your sins. I have, mm -hmm. you, are, you are cleansed and words like this. But now all of sin has yeah. been taken away. Yeah. That's God's view. Amen. 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 The Father was the only one whose view saw the, saw the truth, the full truth of what happened when Jesus died. So the Gentile man just saw a man die when Jesus died. The Jewish man saw a man who could have, might have, maybe have been the Messiah, mm -hmm. but apparently not because he died. Mm -hmm. The Jewish leaders saw what they thought was the end of their competition. The devil saw what he thought was his own victory. The angels saw Jesus carrying out the commandment that God gave him mm -hmm. to lay his life down. The believers didn't yet know the full extent of what had happened, but they knew that God was with this man. Mm -hmm. But the Father saw exactly what he wanted to see mm -hmm. when he saw Jesus die. Mm -hmm. Amen. But there, lastly, in conclusion, there is now the now view. Mm -hmm. The now view... As Jesus said, the world now seeth me no more. Mm -hmm. when, he, when he worked miracles, he let all kinds of people see. When he fed the multitudes, he, he let all of them see it. When he taught, there were thousands of people that heard. But now, Jesus, now the world seeth me no more. The now view is an exclusive view. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not everyone has a view now. Yeah, same. The when he died, people walking by the way that didn't even didn't know his name, didn't know about the trial, didn't know about the teaching, they had a view. But now that this is uh, this is all this is a view that is only by invitation. It's only by revelation mm -hmm. that people have a view now. Nothing's been done in a corner. Nothing was done in a corner now, but now everything's being done in heaven, mm -hmm. where these eyes can't see. No man knows who the Son is, but he to whom the Son will reveal him. Mm -hmm. So God, he has control of the now view, and he only gives the view now to those who believe. Mm -hmm. He only gives the view now to those who are in the Son, to those who are walking in the light. In fact, no one saw Jesus rise from the dead. Mm -hmm. The right. angel announced that he had risen from the dead. Yeah. He opened an empty tomb. He opened it to show the, the women and the disciples that it was empty. No one saw Jesus raised from the dead. Jesus is now at the right hand of God, but no one saw him set down at the right hand of God. The disciples saw him ascend, but didn't see him sit down. The, God has to give people that view. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Jesus now ever lives to make intercession for us. N not everyone has that view. Now Jesus is upholding all things by the word of his power. Amen. And not everyone can see that view. Mm -hmm. But we but but the holy if you can see this now, brethren, blessed are you, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. flesh and blood hath not revealed this to you, but your Father which is in heaven hath mm -hmm. made this known to you. Mm -hmm. He's upholding all things by the word of his power. Mm -hmm. People that they've given explanations of how the world continues in in uh, in order and and uh, one day ends and another morning comes and they they contribute it to things like the forces of gravity yeah. and to mother nature and but we can see that he's upholding all things Amen. Amen. by the word Amen. of his power Jesus is now in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks which are the seven churches mm -hmm. that's the now view mm -hmm. he did die 
but he's rose and he is in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. We can see in this now view that Jesus, that the government is resting on his shoulders. Yes. That is, according to Isaiah's words, the Father hath given him all authority and all power in heaven and on earth. Mm -hmm. The government's resting on his shoulders and he's still doing all things that please the Father. Amen. Amen. Everything that Jesus did, he said, I, uh, everything I do, God's pleased with. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is still doing mm -hmm. everything. So every time someone repents and, and is delivered from sin, it's because Jesus is at the right hand of God. Yeah. Yeah. Because He was raised for to give repentance yeah, man. and the remission of sins. When Peter said, He hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear, he was referring to the exalted Jesus. Mm -hmm. He had to make known who did what they just saw because not everyone could see who did what they just saw. But Peter saw it. Peter had the now view. Jesus just shed forth this which you now see see and hear. Jesus is head over all things to the church. Mm -hmm. This has to be this way for, for Jesus to bring many sons to glory, for you to trust Him. Jesus has to be head over the things that are against you. Mm -hmm. He's head over all things to the church. Mm -hmm. That's for the church. In the interest of the church, God gave Him authority over all things. Amen. So he's, Amen. He has authority over the things that you see and the things that you don't see. The things that are for you and the things that are against you. Mm -hmm. The things that are in the earth and the things that are under the earth. The things that are in heaven and the things that are uh, in that are below the earth. If you see these things now, blessed are you. Because mm -hmm. not all men see them. Not yeah. all men have the now view. Yeah. That Jesus is set down at the right hand of God. And so I bid you, if you can see that Jesus is bringing many sons to glory. And if you are one of those sons that he is bringing to glory, mm -hmm. don't let it get out of your view. Yeah. Yeah. He's bringing, bringing you from, as He sits at the right hand of God, He's bringing you. Mm -hmm. He yeah. is leading you. He mm -hmm. is, inter, inter, as He ever lives, to make intercession for you, mm -hmm. that is Him bringing you. He mm -hmm. makes a way for you to escape in every temptation. That's Him bringing you, mm -hmm. bringing many sons unto glory. Mm -hmm. So before we close, take your uh, great hymns of the faith. Uh, turn to uh, hymn 140. Open wide ye doors. This is a, the view from heaven. This is, comes from the Psalms, where heaven had to in uh, heaven had to be informed who this who this man was as he ascended. Jesus ascended from. The, hev the earthly places into the hev back into the heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Heaven had to be informed. This is uh -huh. this is the mighty King who is who who has won the victory. Open mm -hmm. wide, ye doors. Let Brother Given lead us out in this song, and then he'll close us mm -hmm. uh, in prayer when we conclude. Mm -hmm. Open wide the everlasting doors. Let the King of Glory in. Now return.
passing doors, let the King of glory in. Now returning from his earthly wars, he the victory did win. And someday, oh thrilling truth to ponder, Christ is coming back again. Breaking through the silent sky up yonder, every eye shall see him then, coming back in power to reign, million armies in his train, all the earth shall know his way. The truth is spoken. He is coming back again.